The city of Bristol, Virginia now has a new mayor. Neil Osborne was appointed July 1st after serving on the city council for a year. Osborne is now leading a city of more than, with uh, more than $100 million debt. And with previous councils, that had a reputation for not always getting along. Justin Soto sat down with the new mayor today to find out what he wants to get done in his new job. The Bristol, Virginia native is a political newcomer, but believes he has the skills and grasp on the city and its people to effectively lead Bristol into the future. Supporting our school system, new tax revenue growth, and protecting public safety. Those are Neil Osborne's priorities as he takes the helm as mayor of Bristol, Virginia. I've been told I'm the youngest mayor. The 31-year-old is an alternative school teacher with a background in sales who felt compelled to run for office. I saw the way that they were working together and I said, if you want to put a good public face forward, you need a good public face so you can attract businesses to the city. Osborne witnessed councils under stress, working to figure out how to deal with over $100 million in debt, largely because of the fall's retail development that has not met revenue expectations. At one point, the council considered cutting 10 firefighter positions to deal with the hole. Osborne says the city has turned a corner. We've set aside money to be able to pay toward the debt. So we're moving forward. Uh, the bigger debt payments will start hitting in 2023. And to continue on this path, the city needs to see more growth. With the potential for the casino later on down the road, we could have some more revenue growth and we should be able to, should be able to handle it. Mayor Osborne says the $250 million resort and casino project at the vacant Bristol Mall could be a game changer. It's a tremendous opportunity for the city. You know, we're talking more tax revenue than we could ever dream of a couple of years ago. He wants to move forward with the plan to build a new elementary school and says cutting first responders won't happen on his watch as the city moves forward. Bristol's best days are ahead of us, and, and I firmly believe that. In Bristol, Justin Soto, News Channel 11.